My first thought when I saw this bottle is that it's an Aunt Jemima syrup bottle, but it's not. Let's find out what was in this bottle on this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. There's not a lot of information on the internet for this one, so let's see if we can piece something together. On Ancestry.com, I found Jerome L. Wiener. Since his parents were German, it was probably pronounced Wiener. He was born in 1891 in Illinois. His World War I registration, about 1917, says that he's an architect. And I found a yearbook college list where it confirms that he got a degree in architecture. He apparently did serve in the military in World War I, by the way. In the 1930 census, he's still single, he's living with his sister and his elderly mom, and his occupation is selling kitchen equipment. He does get married in 1935 and lists his occupation as a manufacturer. This might be around the time that he starts his business, but the earliest thing that I can find on this particular bottle is in 1938 a patent registration for Jerome L. Wiener and Frank M. Conklin of Chicago, Illinois for a Bo Peep bottle to hold white shoe cleaner for baby shoes. In the 1940 census, interestingly, he says he's widowed already. He hasn't even been married for five years yet, so he's single again. His business is going, and he puts his occupation as leather finishing, which I guess that's what he means by shoe cleaner. By World War II registration in 1942, he lists his occupation as the owner of Bo Peep products. In 1946, Frank Conklin is the only one mentioned when the Federal Trade Commission is issuing a complaint against this company, claiming that it's falsely claiming that the shoe cleaner is safe for babies to chew on their shoes after the cleaner has been used. And they were claiming that the cleaner kills bacteria on the shoes. Well, the FTC says this is false and they need to cease and desist representing their products as such. And they add 60 days to comply. Here's apparently what the Bo Peep ads in the newspaper would say. This is from the FTC report. Now mommy doesn't have to worry when I chew on my little shoes. It's pasteurized for your child's safety. And there's a picture of a child reaching for his shoes. Bo Peep Pure White Baby Shoe Cleaner is scientifically prepared and pasteurized for your child's safety. And you needn't worry when your toddling tot begins to chew on his little shoes. It will not rub off. Non-allergic type. Safe. Contains no harmful ingredients. Unfortunately, I can't find a picture of one of these newspaper ads online without a subscription. But I did find a bottle online with a label and the instructions say, Use a white cloth and use enough cleaner to remove all soil. Apply final covering and pat until all cleaner is well worked into the leather and no streaks remain. Allow to dry naturally. For nappy leather, brush with a toothbrush to raise nap. I wonder why this FTC issue only mentions Frank and not Jerome. Did Jerome leave the company? Or is he handling other issues while Frank handles this one? I don't know. I wonder if this puts the business under. Maybe they just throw in the towel at this point and move on. Their business was at 5642 Lake Park Avenue in Chicago, which isn't numbered the same anymore, but this intersection is close. I don't see anything else past 1946 for this company. There's no ads anywhere in magazines. It was a very small company, and it doesn't look like it lasted very long. As far as I can tell, it only lasted about eight years. It began about 1938, and it ends about 1946. If it lasted after the FTC crackdown, it doesn't seem that it was very much longer after that. Jerome died in 1969 in California. So who knows all the adventures he had before he died. In 1946, Jerome would have only been 55, so he was still working at a job somewhere for a few more years. Seems he was just kind of a nomad of sorts. He just kind of moved from one job opportunity to the next. As for Frank Conklin, I actually can't find him on Ancestry. I found other Frank Conklins, but not Frank M. Conklin. So he's a mystery. 
This bottle is a unique bottle. I honestly would have never guessed that there was shoe cleaner in here. It's machine made and actually it's quite light compared to other old bottles. Most antique bottles are quite heavy for their size. This has a really nice design. It's probably designed to be a toy for children when it was empty. It would have had a metal hat for a lid like this and there's not too many of them on the internet, just a little handful of them. This is just one of those lost to history stories. And that's all I could dig up for this one. I enjoy learning these stories though. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.